Hello everybody, my name, my name is Josh Farmer 56 Welcome back to another Airsoft Guns videos. And today video, we're gonna talk about all these weapons that I have in the table, including some weapons that I have in the backside of my backside. So yeah. So today I'm gonna talk about you guys how I started with Airsoft Gun. So funny story. <laughs> so yeah. I started Airsoft when I joined the Army Cadet. I have I still have this camouflage hat. Uh this uh, is broken now. I, I've been using this hat almost like seven years. Well, I was in, in the Army Cadet in 12th grade. I graduated and I continued my studies in college. And yeah, and I was still in the Army Cadet. And then I left. The, the reason I joined the Army Cadet is because uh, I was, uh, I'll say this, I joined the Army Cadet because I needed a lot more discipline, but that's not the reason I joined. The, the reason I joined because I saw weapons, like dummy weapons, and then I, then I joined because I needed some discipline. And then they showed me the, the part of training using this kind of rifle, the M16 rifle. You guys, you guys can totally see it on the table. This is the M16 rifle. I don't have the magazine. It's a, it's a, a magazine like this one that goes here but this is a magazine from m4 rifle that i will show you guys so yeah i started with this kind of rifle this is an m16 rifle i started when i was in the army cadet and that was the only first weapon that i got the second weapon that i got was this pistol Now, don't get me wrong, this is not a real gun. This is just an airsoft gun. You know, so you see, this magazine ca uh, carries tanks, uh, small gray tanks, not this kind of tanks, guys. This, this kind of tank goes with the Luger, actually it's not a Luger, this is a Walter, sorry, this is a Walter P38 airsoft gun. Uh, you guys remember uh, a previous video that I throw on YouTube, um, this kind of pistol has the orange barrel. Yeah, uh, me and my cousin, we took the, we boiled the, the orange barrel in a hot bowl with hot water, and this is what happened. It didn't come off until I originally, with my tooth, I apparently I already broke the orange barrel, and finally it came out, and then my cousin, uh, he gave me this gray barrel as a gift. I have a golden one in my room, but I'm not gonna get it, so, yeah. So anyway, I started with with this gun. It's an MP40. MP40, you can totally see right in the receiver, right on there. So this is an MP40 pistol. This is a modern pistol that police officers use in used this day, including the army, the real army, they use this kind of weapon, M16 rifle, M4 rifle, and any type of rifle they use, any type of assault rifle they use, but yeah, in the army cadet, I started using this weapon. So, <laughs> well, a little modern function, the, safe, the switch safety is broken. Yeah, it doesn't, something come out, so anyway, um, to be honest, guys, I started using this right, this rifle, uh, and then when I was cleaning the inside of this airsoft barrel, uh, apparently a piece of tissue got uh, stuck inside the plas the, the plastic thing, the plastic uh, goes in the machine, and when I shoot it on semi-automatic, the plastic of the inside uh, broke. And when I was shooting, there were tiny pieces. So that means this rifle got completely damaged and completely destroyed in the inside. And yeah, because this, uh, this, is, this is just an M16 rifle, but it's also made of plastic, outside and inside. This is a plastic rifle. This rifle, this rifle lasts me at least 
uh, let's just say it, like, it lasts me like three weeks. Three weeks last me, this rifle. I I still have this this rifle. It's still a dummy rifle. I still have it. This rifle has been with me over uh, let's just say let's just say like seven or eight years with me. But yeah, this is just an M16, so this rifle got completely useless to me. I could not use it anymore. And I was using this pistol and gas was the gas tanks. The small gray gas tank were running, I was running low. Still buy more, but apparently on the magazine, this uh, this mechanism right here, the the thing that makes the gas work and the pistol work, uh, apparently you guys won't see that. But a little uh, piece of the of the gum, the probably protect this. Uh, well, this also got. Useless as well, guys, because apparently, apparently, uh, gas leak was leaking, and I have I was having issue problem with this kind of pistol gas tanks. So this didn't work at all. So apparently, I was uh, I took this pistol, I gave it to a friend of mine that plays airsoft, and he fixed it, and it was still working. And then I was still I was still hearing a little gas link coming out, and I said, mm -mm, "This is not good." So they they told me to buy another new magazine for that MP40 pistol, but I didn't listen because I didn't have the money to buy another magazine. So yeah, and then another uh, friend of mine on Air that plays airsoft, he really left airsoft. Don't worry, this is not a uh, a real M4 rifle. This is just another airsoft M4 rifle. It has a black cannon. Canyon, you can totally see. It's painted black. It's supposed to be orange like this one right here, but it's not. So this one has been painted because it was from another airsoft guy that he, apparently he gave me this right, this M4 rifle that, that I actually bought for him, sorry. I bought this rifle like a hundred dollars for it. Yeah. So when I bought this M4 rifle, I thought I was gonna like you know work work this rifle. I was gonna like it was the best M4 rifle I used. And a couple of years ago, sorry, not a couple of years ago, a couple of, a couple of days or weeks or months ago, when I was shooting the the trigger of the M4 rifle uh, broke. You know, you guys want to know why and how that happens? This happens. Uh, yeah. A BB got stuck, uh, no BB got stuck inside the barrel. And apparently, this thing apparently broke. That makes the trigger broke. And yeah, I tried, I tried to paste the trigger back on and it didn't last me. This rifle also lasts me one year. So yeah. Apparently I got mad about it. I got pissed off and I told my cousin I wasn't never gonna buy battery and airsoft gun and also that M4 rifle is plastic from the outside and full metal inside. So yeah, I told my cousin that I wasn't gonna buy no more airsoft guns or battery because they were having me issue problem, malfunction, and they were useless to me. So, so when I, so when I, when I was with no weapons, when I was with zero, zero airsoft gun, then I decided to buy. This MP40. This is an MP40 spring rifle, and I. And to be honest, I kind of like it because it only it only has this mechanism. You pull it back, and then shoot. One shot, one kill. Now, um, this mag. The problem is I don't have the the mags of this MP40 rifle. This is the 
These are magazine of the MP40, but these are not the magazine that the spring rifle use. This magazine belongs to this MP5, MP40 rifle full metal gun. This is a plastic one that I will get on detail later on. So anyway, back to my detail. So anyway guys, uh, so then I buy this MP40 MP40 rifle on eBay that it cost me thirty dollars I think or twenty five yeah so I bought a, a cheaper rifle a spring rifle that it lasts me one year and when I was in the Halloween party uh, my dad's neighbor friends his neighbor that has been friends with him so more than a year uh, when. He was trying, he pulled this more than 10 times and that made the MP40 spring rifle completely useless to me. Ah, but that's not, that's not all. Uh, here's the other best part. This is the other best part. I also buy this. You guys can totally see. This is uh, in the name of this box, you guys can see, it's an M23, but it's not. This is a muzzle. This is a, mu is a muzzle gun that you pull this back and it's supposed to shoot. Uh, last year, on 2020, or well, 2021, I don't, I don't remember the, the years. I showed my brother this pistol and he, uh, apparently he, he pulled the spring back and this pistol uh, also got damaged, got completely useless. I told my cousin that I bought, I told my cousin that I fixed it, but I lied to him. I lied to my cousin Ian about about the, this pistol. I didn't buy, I didn't fix this pistol. I bought a second one because I needed, a, I needed another spring pistol that can last me. And this one, oh, this one almost lasts me, this pistol almost lasts me only 20 days it lasts me. Because I was having so much fun, you guys saw um, some videos on airsoft guns I made, uh, I was shooting this pistol and you guys already saw it. So. So apparently, by the, so apparently I completely destroyed my own gun by myself with a damaged magazine, a small magazine that I left, that apparently I, uh, I was carrying four of this and four of this, two, two larger this, two small this, and one of them I let it fell on the floor and it broke. I fixed it with crazy glue and well, when I try to put it back on, only I, I put like four BBs and I shoot, and I shoot again, and then another BB got stuck, and then when I pull this back, I said, "Oh shit! I, I completely destroyed my own gun." So apparently, this spring pistol got also useless for my airsoft collection, but I still have it. Why? Because I also like spring pistols, but. You, you guys will never know when I can fix it and when I use it again. But I also use a large magazine. And you guys can tell that the thing this thing the spring's broken. I think that the, the inside spring's broken. But anyway, that's another uh, video that I will probably explain how my spring my spring weapons got completely useless and modern function. So I don't give a shit about that one. So I also have this. Uh, this is a grip. This grip also goes right here on M16 rifle. Uh, you guys, you guys saw earlier. My M4 rifle has a grip on it. So yeah. Then I created this German helmet. It's made of cardboard, guys. Uh, I was watching a video on YouTube. How to make, how to build a cardboard German helmet from the Second World War. 
So I watch it. I was watching a video. I was used. I was watching the that video and I was like looking and say, oh shit, that looks so easy. So yeah. So this is what I did. I started like watching the video. Uh, and then, uh, and then when I watched the video, I was like watching myself how to do it. I was pausing, seeing how much uh, it needs, and I'm not gonna explain a <laughs> lot. I know. I, don't, I, I, I know I'm doing a long video here. I don't want to do a, a large video. I just want to do a little small video. But anyway, guys, so this is what really happens. So I made this this cardboard German helmet. It's made of cardboard. Then I paste uh, white paper. Then I painted gray. And then I added this Waffen SS symbol and the the German flag. And over here it has the Nazi the Nazi symbol. Yeah, but. Apparently it was supposed to be this symbol right here and this one right here. But I, I asked my cousin and my mom to make a vote and tell me which uh, symbols will go, what, which of the paper, because these are paper, this is not stickers, these are just paper symbols that I, uh, no, nah, sorry, that my mom printed from the computer and because I told her to, I needed like, German symbols from the Second World War. So the Nazi, oh, the Nazi soldiers used this kind of symbol, weapon SS, the German flag, and this Nazi stuff symbol. But anyway, guys, uh, so I put two Nazi symbol here and two, one symbol, the weapon SS and the German flag. So yeah, this is a copper helmet that I made myself with a lot of paper, cardboard. Uh, Strong glue and this uh, this thing is like uh, I think it's, it's, it's just like a string, but it also had like a thing that you can probably unzip. See, yeah, you can put you can buy place it on. You guys won't see it because I'm far away distance. I'm not going to get out of the table. Also, these are the BB that I use on all this rifle. I use 0, 0 0.20G, 6mm BB, 5000 premium. These are the BBs I use when I when I use on all the rifles. And this is the gas tank that I use on the Walter P38. The Walter P38 has a, under the magazine, it has a small hole that you can probably inject this in here and it makes the ga the the gas influence in the magazine, and that makes the the water filter it works. Now I'm not, you guys saw it, but I'm not gonna like put gas on that pistol. So you guys always, you guys won't see that. But I'll, I'll show you guys in a future video. And this uh this is a scope that my M16 M4 rifle use. And I also put on the MP4 spring rifle. See, it has the same uh, mechanism that M16 M4 rifle has. Apparently, uh, this uh, this scope lost the the crystal. So it also doesn't work. Barry is dead. So damn, I cannot say. Uh, also, guys, uh, let me show you another scope that I have. I'll be right back. I'm gonna pause this so you guys can see what what I'm talking about, and I will get you the next detail of what the next detail of those metal guns I have. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Here's the other. Here's the other scope that I have. This. This is an expensive scope that I bought on eBay. This is this scope I put it on MP40, F16, M4 rifle. Sorry, I have like a little gas inside me. Holy shit! So this one works, and I can totally see the the thing works. If you guys want to see it, it has two color, green. Uh -huh. There it is. See? 
going Hmm. I don't know if you guys can see that one. Anyway, the red doesn't. So, too bad the red dot didn't work. So, you guys saw the green one on camera. So, yeah, this uh, this scope, it, it did cost me like more than $30, like $45 or $50. So, I have it in here. I forgot to show you that one. So, you guys saw it. Alright. Next. Next detail. Then after... I don't have the SDG spring gun. Yeah, uh, I, I wish I can show you that that airsoft gun, but you guys can probably see it in my previous video that I was shoot that I was shooting the SDG forty four Stormy Gear spring rifle. Yeah, I don't have that gun. I gave it as a the Three Kings gift to my small cousin because I was gonna give this. I was gonna give this for his. Christmas, but when I find out that this uh, S spring MP40 gun was was broken on the inside and was shooting small fraction, it wasn't shooting anymore. So then I decided to buy a new. Then I decided to buy another new airsoft spring MP40 gun, and I gave the new one with the magazine. Uh, the the whole barrel thing and yeah I gave that to my small cousin Dylan and yeah and then uh, three king gave I gave him the STG spring rifle because I don't longer need it because I bought an STG uh, that actually my dad bought me this STG gun for my birthday so I'll then you guys will probably see that one and now I'm gonna show you guys this rifle. This is the same. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make sure that you guys didn't hurt my gas coming out from my butthole. But anyway. Anyway, so this is the MP40 full metal gun. It's the same as the spring one. But spring one, the spring one, sorry, <laughs> the spring one shoot less powerful. Uh, if you shoot a, a human with this gun, I mean, if, if I can shoot my cousin with this spring airsoft gun, it will not hurt because these are spring. They, the accurate of the of the BB, it doesn't hit hard. I mean, it would probably hit a little bit. You can, you won't feel nothing with this plastic gun. But. The full MP40, this one will you will get hurt because this one has more than a range and shoot far and this one this one can probably hurt someone. But only on airsoft game. And also um guys guys this uh MP40 gun, this full metal MP40 gun, well I bought it on on eBay, the page the my cousin Ian told me he told me that he finds all the, all those cool weapons on eBay. That page is uh, available. That page you can find it on Google it on Google and yeah. If some of you guys don't know what what I'm saying, eBay. I'm not saying eBay. I'm not saying eBay is eBay. E V I K E eBay. E -bike. The thing is, uh, I said it in English. In Spanish, I will probably say it in Spanish. Um, I'm gonna like subtitle this. So, e bike in Spanish, the E is E, V is Uve, I is E, 
Okay, he's tough. And E is A. E bike. Anyway, if you guys want to have cool guns like this one or my cousin's guns, just go on an e bike. Go on an e bike and you'll probably see the prices. All the all the aerosol guns, they also sold they also the e bike page sold spring guns, uh, the muzzle gun, this one over here I bought on an e bike and this MP40 gun I bought on an e bike so I'm not gonna tell you how much it costs so this one uh to be honest it did cost me like two hundred dollars but I'm not gonna uh, it's a lot of money. So this one is an expensive aerosol gun. And this one's cheaper on eBay. And this one, uh, I think it's like the same as this one. Uh, uh, I think that this one is like a hundred, a hundred dollar. The M4, a hundred. But yeah, this MP40 gun, uh, it shoot very powerful. Batteries. This is this is not like the, this is not like the M16 rifle that you can uh, take the. The back side of the cloth off and and put the battery here. No, this M4, this MP40 rifle, uh, you pull the the button mechanism off and this is how it actually works. You have to pull this thing back and then you pull this. Voila, the MP40 rifle. Is disarmed in two pieces, and here's where you put the battery. In a previous video, that I, previous video that I show you guys how I can disarm how I can disarm the MP40 rifle. So yeah, this MP40 rifle you can disarm it like this, and it's gonna be like two two pieces. And then you put it back on. Make sure you do it the right way. Make sure the the cable is not bothering the other side, and then. Pull this. Make sure that there. Once it make that the noise, make sure the it's connected, and then you close the the back side, and there. And here's the strap that uh, you guys can buy to it. It's not necessary to have it, but if you want to have it, you can have it. So yeah, this MP40 gun. When I when I bought for the first time, when I bought for the first time a a new electric gun, then I got happy again, and now now I can shoot I can shoot and play airsoft again, cause now that I give it the defective guns, the springs. I mean, yeah, springs. I kind of like it, but by the end by the end of the by the end of the day, springs always will go useless. And they will never work, so that that's why I buy electric guns again. I, I was I was like uh, being negative, saying like, no, I don't want to buy electric guns because ah uh, the the manufacturing they will never work. They all sucks. I want to have spring pistols, spring, spring rifles, and look what happened. I give it spring, and I'm back with electric guns again. So yeah. So I bought this MP40 rifle, and now I'm happy, and now I can shoot, and I can do whatever I want with this MP40 rifle. But yeah, $200. And finally, guys, this is my favorite, my favorite rifle of the German Second World War. The STG44, MP44, MP43, and there's another one that, there's another one that's named before it. So yeah, this is the STG44 gun. Uh, I was gonna buy this one on on eBay. It was two fifty nine, but the the cheap, the cheaper, not the cheaper. The the thing is, it was two fifty nine, but the shipping was three hundred dollars. So we're talking about big cash on a big gun. I was gonna buy this on eBay as my own present for my birthday, but when I was uh, when I went to my dad's house and I was showing my my MP40 gun, 
Uh, he told me that you know what? I think you need a bigger gun because uh, even though you have that medium gun, like okay, it look awesome, but you need a bigger gun. Like uh, I want you to be, I want you to feel very happy. Have a big gun instead of a small one. So yeah, so that. So my dad decided, so my dad went on e-bike, I told him that like, you can go on e-bike, but I bought, a, I don't want a, a real gun, I want a, I want an airsoft gun. So my dad went to the page I told him about e-bike, and he bought me this SDG44 gun. The, this has the, the real wood, and the entire gun is full metal. Inside, full metal. Outside, full metal. Just like the MP40. The inside is full metal, the outside is full metal. All is full metal guns. And I was, and this is my favorite gun. For now, guys, this is my favorite airsoft gun. The STG44. Uh, you wanna know why it's my favorite gun? This is why. The reason that it's my favorite gun is because, look at the size of this. It's big. And this STG rifle, has you can probably put this kind of BB. I think I can probably add at least more than 300 BBs. All I'm saying that the that magazine I can probably put 355 BBs, and and the the best part is uh, the best part is I can reload and I don't need to worry about if. If uh, if my ammo ran out, because I will still have more BBs, and this is gonna continue shooting more BBs. So yeah, this is why this is my favorite gun. The STG44 is my favorite airsoft rifle because the thing is, it's really big. It's a big gun, and it's much better than the M16 and the M4 rifle. And I'm not saying that I I'm not saying that I hate my MP40 rifle. I I also love my MP40 rifle because it's my favorite gun also, and also it's full metal. And both have both have same weight. They I think they're like I think they are like more than twenty pounds. <laughs> Twenty pounds, huh? <laughs> no, but seriously, that that this not the, the weight of this. Yeah. There's no twenty pounds on this. This bitch only like the weights have uh, less than twenty. This is like a, like a freaking. Let's just say the weight is fifteen or fifteen or eighteen pounds. I think it doesn't. So yeah, guys. So that's my full story, how I got airsoft gun. And yeah, and here's the strap, the golden strap for the M4 rifle. I don't need this shit anymore. And finally, uh, this is the, the Walter. I was gonna buy a Luger. Uh, I, I know I mentioned that this was a Luger gun, but this is not the Luger gun. This, this, this is a Walter Peter Ray. I wanted to buy the, I wanted this Walter Peter A black, so uh, I found this, I found two, this, uh, two Walter pistols, the silver that it was available and the black one wasn't available, it was sold out and I got sad, I was, uh, and then I saw the the silver one was available. I said like, okay, so what I what can I do? I need a I need a gas, I need a new pistol because I can't continue buying muscle spring gun if they gonna be manufacturing again. And I can't have six magazine for no ass reason. So I bought a silver Walter P38, and I'm happy because I can probably put gas and then I can do this. Do this and shoot, but yeah, these are awesome weapons. So yeah, guys. So that's how I started my airsoft experience. So yeah, I'm a. Uh, you can try to uh, see myself. I, I I'm armed with old weapons, new weapons. So yeah, I got modern weapon that the the military use. Uh, 
the military use in the day. I got guns from I got guns from the 1944, 1945, Second World War weapons, and yeah, I got. I still have my army cadet hat and I got my second world war German cardboard helmet and I got my gas and my BBs. But anyway guys Anyway guys that's all I'm gonna say for now. That's a that's a whole story how I started Airsoft, how I got a little experience about Airsoft. So you can try to see I'm a veteran right now carrying airsoft guns because I know I know about airsoft yeah uh, I went a couple of uh, game airsoft games with friend of mine and even though I didn't like kill someone in airsoft or probably didn't shoot someone but I also win a couple battles on airsoft guns on airsoft guns and I lost many times so there's rule and the rule is, the first rule is, never shoot someone with an airsoft gun, never shoot someone in the face. Because you can probably, uh, you can probably like leave someone with a, with a damaged eye, or you can probably leave like with no eyes, or you can blow his eye off. But yeah, that's the first rule of airsoft, of airsoft gun. Never shoot in the face. The only target you can shoot where you're playing airsoft, you can only shoot the person in the chest, the legs, the arm, and that's it. But don't shoot on the face. That's the only rule on airsoft games. Never shoot in the face because you're gonna probably get disqualified. But anyway, guys, that's all. That's all I'm gonna say for now. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notification for more video. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about. All my airsoft guns, uh, but yeah, that's all. That's all I got for now, and and also I got the STG forty four magazine full uh, magazine. Uh, I got extras right over here. I don't know why I bought two extras, but I guess I need it because you know how Germans need more ammo for battle. And I also have the MP forty magazine. They're all in right here. So this is the original, these are two replicas, so yeah, those are a magazine, this is original, these two are replicas. So anyway guys, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notification, let me know in the comment section what you think about my airsoft guns, what you, think, what you guys think about my explanation, how I started airsoft, and also guys, uh, let me know if you want me to play Outlast Trial, I'll probably play Outlast Trial when, uh, well, I will probably play Outlast Trial when Steam uh, let me know in in my Gmail when the game comes out. And yeah, you guys will probably see me playing Outlast Trial. And also, guys, make sure to follow me on Discord. Follow me on Discord. It's just, I got my I got Discord, so follow me there. Follow me there, guys. My the Discord. My Discord name is it's just Josh and some emojis and it's 49 I think it's 40, 49 44 I don't know 48 I don't know but I will put a link I probably put a link in the description below also guys also guys make sure to like this video give a like on this video thumbs up and subscribe we already have 61 subscribers 61 subscriber guys so we're getting there guys oh i i just need to reach more so i can get to 100 subscribers and then from there if i can reach 1000 that would be great guys because i i really need to reach at least 1000 subscribers but for now i have 61 so let's go a little bit so guys make sure subscribe more subscribe to the channel check my videos uh, let me know if you want if you want me you want me to do more content. I will probably do more content. Uh, I'm sorry that my I'm sorry that my channel my YouTube channel is dead. I, I know that you guys saw the last video of me shooting the Walter P38 airsoft gun. But guys, I'm trying my best. But I've been super busy working at the supermarket, cleaning kitchen utensils. 
crazy shit happening, pandemic shit. I got too many shit to do. But yeah, I also been playing too much PlayStation and I know I play too much Minecraft and I will probably show you another video of me playing Minecraft or probably explain how I build how I build ta German tanks, German airplanes, US Army tanks, uh US Army airplane, so um Mannequins of German soldier, mannequin of U.S. soldier. I also am building a rash tag. Uh, I will probably show you guys uh, in another future video when I finish with this one. So anyway, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notification for my video. Let me know in the comment section what you think about my errors of guns. And also, guys, let me know in the comment section if you want me to play Outlast Trial because I will play Outlast Trial and I will scare my shit out on. The game's out. So anyway, and also follow me on Discord because in Discord I uh, have been exploring in my server called Storyfire. Uh, me and, and some of my friends we're, we're still running the show. We're still doing night shift. We're doing we're winning a lot of place money, guys. Also, guys, download Discord. It doesn't take you five minutes to download an app on your phone and probably. And probably, probably, and probably follow me on Discord. So anyway, guys, follow me on Discord. If you want more detail about me, you want to ask me some question. Only one thing: follow me on Discord, and you probably will see more of me there. You probably talk with me, some of my friends. I have a, I have a server called Storyfire. I've been running the show there with my friends. We've been collecting too much Discord money. We've been collecting too much Blaze money. So yeah. I got a server called Storyfire there, and I have a lot of vi uh, I have a lot of friends. And if, if you guys want to be a part of my server, the other thing you must do is simple: follow me on Discord. The the my name on uh, my Discord will be in the description below. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I always and I will see you in the next video. So yeah, bye guys. But seriously, download this one and follow me there. Because you're missing the show. And it's fun. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.